fucking camera does not stay fucking focused. What's going on, guys? Boy, Joe Six Seven Two coming to you guys with a video right now. So the Eagles have hosted veteran running back, age of twenty seven, Terrence West from free agency that was with the Baltimore Ravens was drafted 2014 from the Browns 94th overall went to the uh, was cut after a year then went to Tennessee then was cut went to the Ravens been with the Ravens ever since I've known something of Terrence West I know his name I've kind of never watched him I know he had a good run on us uh, uh two years ago in the 2016 season when we played the Ravens and couldn't win um so we have a guy with you know a veteran guy coming into the room right now. So he is not signed yet, but he is he is he was tried out this morning. So I'm gonna go over some stats here. So what 43 games he has played in, 23 starts, 465 attempts for 1816 yards, about 3.9 yards per carry. Um, not crazy good. 51 receptions for 344 yards, averaging about 6.7 yards. A catch. Now you bring in this guy to a crowded backfield with Darren Sproles returning, Corey Clement off of a great rookie season, Wendell Smallwood and Donnell Pumphrey. Um, we can go through them all right now. Uh, Darren Sproles, of course he's going to be here. He got re-signed. Darren Sproles is Darren Sproles. Special teams going to be in there for mismatches, going to be in there for short passes, going to be in there for fucking everything. Screen passes don't matter what it is. But he's not going to be used that much, so hopefully Doug Pearson has fixed and kind of, you know, went through of not doing that. Corey Clement, he's going to be one of our he's going to be one of our three-headed monster for whatever the hell it's going to be. Corey Clement has had a great rookie season. Holy shit, undrafted, dirt cheap, and I can't be any happier of what how this kid has played and he and I'm glad he showed up. Wendell Smallwood, you know, we drafted him, and um, unfortunately, um, he was just beating competition, unfortunately, just beating the competition, and I, you know, honestly, Wendell Smallwood, he's tried his best, he's been injured, but, you know, Wendell Smallwood, when he had his chances, he did run good for us here and there, especially 2016, he didn't do a horrible job, but didn't break out, um, but not a bad guy to have as a backup um, if possible, if not dressed, I'm thinking we're going to keep, we're going to have about three running backs going to undress one that's going to stay on the sideline for the game. So Wendell Small was the odd man out. Donald Pumphrey, the big San Diego State running back that broke Marshall Falk's all purpose yard record. I thought I had high praise for him. I thought at least with that pedigree of a record that he broke, that he was just a quick guy. I was getting a lot of yards. But didn't really show up in the preseason. He really fair catched every punt that was coming to him. He never took chances. I think he knows that he has to do something now. Otherwise, he's probably going to be off this team. Um, so you bring in a guy, Terrence West. LeGarrette Blunt's out of the picture now. So you bring in another vet and replacing him. Not going to really, really replace him for LeGarrette Blunt, But you bring in a north-south runner in Terrence West. Um, and, you know, how he's got a plan, how he's got... A lot of ideas, and, and we're looking for that three-headed monster. And if Terrence West could make the roster, could beat Wendell Smallwood, can beat um, Donald Pumphrey. I think Donald Pumphrey's not going to be on this team. I think Wendell Smallwood would have more of a chance than Donald Pumphrey would, but I don't know. But on top, I forgot to even to say the undrafted guys like Josh Adams, the running back from Notre Dame, that everyone is very high on, and I'm very high on as well, and want to kind of see if he actually has that north-south burst speed up the middle see if he actually can translate that from college to the NFL so you're coming into a room with five backs <clears throat> and Terrence West um I don't know where he's gonna fit into all this so it's gonna be a hard decision if all these running backs end up doing pretty damn good in preseason that's why preseason is so important guys so I mean I know everyone's like oh fuck preseason why I watch preseason it's not about if we win or lose I can give a fuck if we win preseason game if we lose I mean I'd rather win of course but I don't care what it is. I'm glad we broke the the, the chalk yes uh, last this 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 past off season. We were the Super Bowl champ, you know, the Super Bowl preseason champions because we we're always the undefeated in preseason. Um, but we actually lost some games, which was good. Um, but at the same time, the preseason is all about specifically. I will sit there with my pad, with my pen, and really see what guys are doing. Write it down and. 
just remember what's going on with each player. See what guys are making good pushes. I look at the offensive line. I look at the def defensive line. But most importantly, I look at these running backs, especially new running backs that are coming into this team like a Josh Adams, like Corey Clement in his second year. Will he do better? Um, will Wendell Smallwood make a push? Is Donald Pumphrey even going to make the roster? You know, if he, you know, Darren Sproles is back now. So Donald Pumphrey is literally on the edge. He's literally one foot off the cliff. And literally this preseason is his only chance to stay on the cliff. And I think he will fall off very fucking deep into the fucking pit of misery. Now, Terrence West, no. There's nothing shiny. There's nothing glamorous. There's nothing <gasps> when you look at him. No, it's not. But when Howie plugs in a running back into this scheme with this top three offensive line, with this wide receiver core, with, with Carson Wentz, with all the distractions that this team is going, the defenses will have to defend, you get a running back, you plug a running back in that hopefully could do some work. Now, the Ravens, no, they haven't been good in a while. The offensive line, no, haven't been good. The wide receiver core was really bad last year, the past two years. Maybe not two years ago. It was definitely worse last year. But now you have a running back in a good situation. So all, all he can really think to himself right now is, hey, I'm in a really good situation. I'm on the Super Bowl champ. I'm, I'm with the Super Bowl champion Philadelphia Eagles team, and I'm here to dominate, and I'm here to do everything I can to fucking bring another championship back. And if I can make this roster, hell fucking yeah, let me go in there. Now, he's a physical guy too, so if he has to run into guys, he will be physical. He will, he will break tackles at times, um, but only to a certain degree. But North South runner, nothing, nothing flash. He doesn't do spin moves. Doesn't go from one side to the other. He's very, very, very vanilla base running back. So Terrence West, we'll see what happens. But if he gets signed, hey, I don't, um, I don't have a problem. Um, if he gets signed, it's not a guaranteed roster spot. It's mostly, most likely, just a. Let's see what he can do. And hell, if he could beat Wendell Smallwood and Donnell Pumphrey, I am fine with that. A 27-year-old veteran running back that isn't that old at all, I would bring him in if he does well. If he doesn't, I don't know. You keep fucking Sproles. You keep, you know, Clement. And we got to see. Oh, and Jay Ajayi. Oh, God, another running back. Totally forgot. <laughs> but you got Jay Ajayi in the mix as well. So, you know what I mean? You already got the three-headed monster right there. But, hey, you get a fourth running back. That's a fourth running back. Fourth running back on the roster plus a fifth for practice squad. So, there's only one spot open in this running back. There's only one spot open, literally. When you think about it, it's only one spot. Okay? Because injuries do happen during the year. So, you're going to have three guys starting, one guy undressed and not dressed, and one other guy that's going to be on the practice squad, most likely, um, if he doesn't get picked up on waivers. Um, so that's about it. So let me know. What do you guys think about adding a veteran running back like Terrence West to this offense? Um, if he gets signed, good. You know, if he gets signed, it's, it's like I said, it's only going to be like a tryout. And if he does well, then, hey, he's in a very good spot in his career to be on a defending Super Bowl championship team like the Philadelphia Eagles. And, you know, we'll see what happens. But, hey, if it can happen, it can happen. If he makes it, he makes it. So the Eagles tried him out this morning. Don't know the news, but we'll find out in a day or two, maybe this week, maybe next week. Who knows? But that's all I got to talk about, guys. That's about it. So I will see you guys later. Thank you for the subs, guys. Thank you for the support. Follow me on Twitter. Fly goes fly. Shakes got up.